Bosch 8000i um, Starlight FlexiDome. Um, it is a 4K 8 megapixel FlexiDome. It has PTRZ. That's kind what, of a new term. I was going to say, what's that? Pan mean? tilt roll zoom. Uh -huh. That's new, right? Uh, this camera has both a IK10 and IP66 plus rating simultaneously. Okay. So that's kind of an interesting thing but, too. IP66, what, what's that mean? Out, outdoor weather rated okay. for most applications, uh, cold, uh, rain, hot, humidity, so okay. on and so forth. And IK10? IK10, um, let's talk about how the camera can be uh, physically abused. So gotcha. it can be banged or bumped or beat. Okay. Um, but the cool thing is our camera does both of those things simultaneously gotcha. with a camera module inside the camera will continue to work in all those environments. Awesome. Okay. One of the cool things about the camera first, let's start talking about this, is the label. Uh, the label in the box contains a couple of pretty interesting things. It has the camera serial number, the camera's MAC address, and it has a QR code. And the QR code on the label will come in handy later on in some of the following videos where we use the project assistant to set the camera okay. up. All right, let's get inside of the box. Huh? Open it up. Okay, when we first open the box up, the first thing we're going to find on top is the instruction manual. And what do we do with that? We're going to put it here on the okay. table. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the box up and what we're going to find inside is some, some convenience items. So the first thing is a couple of stickers. Uh, there's at least typically four or five stickers in the box. Mm -hmm. These stickers contain the camera MAC address and the serial number. These are pretty important. One of our integrators a couple years ago asked to have these added. These are great for putting on um, project documents. So you could take one of these okay. stickers off and put it on a, on a plan or a floor plan or something like that or a project sheet so you know which gotcha. camera you put at a specific location. Okay. You can also take one and stick it on the outside of the box or any other, gotcha. any other documentation that you want. The other thing you're going to find when you open the box is you're going to see the camera is inside the box with this, this test cable and we'll talk a little bit more about that but this is really convenient for setting the system up ahead of time or setting the camera up okay. ahead of time on the table giving it some of the basic things that you're going to do to save Good. time with the setup. Okay. Also inside the box here, I'll give this to you once okay. I take it out. All that right. thing's pretty heavy. That is. It, it's a mounting plate, but it's the mounting plate for basically the camera base and the camera module. So literally what you're doing here is, and you can see all the different holes in this, that, so you can put it on that, just about any type of plate or configuration you can imagine. Electrical box, that's one of the things. Exactly. Two gang or four, yep. four C, whatever the other, four exactly. F, sorry, on the, so on the box. So you're mounting it either to the ceiling, to a wall, any type of environment you can possibly think of. And like you said, it's heavy. It's real heavy duty at that point because it's IK10. Well, with the housing, it's got to be, this has to be as, as hard, hardened as the rest of the product. Pretty resilient. Correct. Next thing inside the box is this smaller package. Mm -hmm. Inside this smaller package, you'll find a couple of different things. There's a small little plastic bag, Ziploc bag, that contains a couple of different things. We'll pull them out of the bag okay. so everybody can get a, get a look at what they are. Uh, I'm not going to take it out of here because it'll basically ruin it, but inside of this um, little silver package is a small desiccant device, uh, okay. moisture absorber device. has a little uh, two-way piece of tape on the back so you can okay. peel one layer off and you would stick that to the inside of the mounting bait, uh, base for the camera. Next thing you're going to find inside here, let's pour it out on the table. Um, Bosch has always been really good about this and that is including this ah, security bit, screw, security bit. screw yep. bit. So every camera comes with one of those so you don't have to go to the hardware store or the Lowe's or the Home Depot yep. or whatever and grab them because you dropped it. A couple of other things that are of convenience, one is the power plug that will go in. We'll show you where that plugs into the mm -hmm. camera in just a minute. So this green power plug allows you to have uh, 12 to 24 volts DC or 24 volts AC okay. on the camera. So the camera will actually take 12 to 24 Four. DC yep. or 24 AC and simultaneously PoE. you can power it with PoE. So wow. for applications where you need continuous power and a backup, right. that gives you the ability. It, it won't okay. even drop or blink during a if the switch drops power or if the other Perfect. drops power. So, so again, if it's a it's retrofit there. and you have existing power or you have PoE or whatever, you power it up any way yep. you want. 
Next thing comes in is this uh, terminal strip, removable mm -hmm. terminal strip. You can plug all your uh, contact closure inputs and outputs gotcha. and other things like that. And again, we'll show you where that goes okay. on the base of the camera as well. Next thing, very helpful, the camera wow. comes out of the box in its indoor configuration. Okay. If you want to make it capable of being that um, the IP66 or outdoor okay. rating, comes with two grommets, one spare, one to use, one spare. So in case you drop one, you have the second one there in the pack Don't throw that it comes out. with it. <laughs> right, exactly. Next thing in the pa in this little box is this little adapter, which basically allows you to bring conduit directly into okay. the side of the camera base itself. So nice. if you're mounting it flat on a wall mm -hmm. and you need to bring conduit into it, that's what this little adapter comes with. And it also Perfect. has another piece that goes inside of the okay. inside of the base when that comes there. So let's get that stuff out of the way. All right. What's next? Let's get let's see that camera. Let's see it. <laughs> All right. Let's get this out of here. So what comes with the camera? The camera, as you can see, has this little protective cover yep. over the top of it. Take that off. I, I would I always tend to leave that on there when I'm doing setup or when I'm doing anything Till especially the construction done. site yep. till you after you're done. This one's been taken on and off a couple yep. times, so it's not sticking very well anymore. Okay. But that should stay on there. But please remember to remove that <laughs> before you are done when you're ready to turn the camera on and focus it and everything else. All right, what else? I'll let you okay. kind of take it from here. So at this point, you know, we have the camera itself. So now here's the module itself. So when we have the module, you can see here, there's a couple features here right off the bat. Number one, there's dual SD card slots here. So you can actually put two SD cards in here and you can either do them in a combination, you can do them in a ring, you can have a failover. So it gives you a couple capabilities if you want to actually record right at the camera. Nice. Um, there's also a arrow here to tell you where the camera gets put up. You see that there's a matching one of those right exactly. here on the base plate. Yep. And then your actual, your ethernet, then you're, you're cabling through. So for power ethernet, then at this point. Now this is a sealed unit. The reason why it's a sealed unit, it's so important because you should never have to get into this camera module for any adjustments. That's where that PT RZ comes <laughs> exactly. back into play, right? Exactly. Awesome. So all your adjustments are done then via either wireless, either the web, your LAN, or your VMS. So once the camera's installed, again, you're never going back up here again. And I say the only time maybe you'd have to go up there, clean the dome. Nice. So, so what's that part? Okay, this is the mounting base, and this is pretty neat. Um, just like every, just about every other Bosch camera, there's a label inside that comes that tells you, uh, we talked about the, the two terminal strips, the oh, removable okay. terminal strips. They would plug right in here, and that label tells you what, all, what the pinout for mm. all these pins are. So you don't have to go looking for the instruction book or have yep. something from the internet to tell you what they are. And that's a kind of a common thing that we get asked a lot is what, what are the pinouts of those connectors? right there, right where the connector is, easy okay. to see, printed on, you know, so you can easily see it. We talked about that little desiccant pack in the, mm -hmm. in the aluminum thing. You could take that off and stick it okay. right in here. It keeps the humidity and the moisture controlled in, in gotcha. this area. We did talk about this little short jumper cable. This mm -hmm. cable, this is something that's kind of new for Bosch. Take, if you take this cable out, this cable is really just there for setup and pre-configuration. Okay. So when you're ready to actually mount it, in the ceiling mm -hmm. or in the mount or whatever, you would take that out, okay, right. and then you would grab your normal cable, okay, your normal Ethernet cable, my uh, nice hot pink cable. <laughs> I love my hot pink <laughs> cables, and then that allows you to plug that directly into perfect into the base when you're ready to okay. to actually plug the camera now, into the to the network switch. We want to make this outdoor rated. What do we do? Outdoor rating. We go back to the small grommet, little grommet that we talked okay. about. Very simple. Um, push it up through just a little bit from yep. the base or pull it up through easily or easy to insert that over mm -hmm. top of the cable. Make sure it's uh, seated and all plugged in together and then you can just push that through the, oh. the little adapter and that makes it IP66 rated, okay. right? IP66 rated. And then what you see there is at that point the cable's connected directly into the, gotcha. to the base of the camera and you're good to go. You had pointed out on the back of the camera module there was a, a plug or a, the uh, where the camera actually gets its power and all the other yep. things comes into that adapter right there. Perfect. So now we're basically ready to take the camera, put it on the base, 
and we can go from there. So let's take some okay. information on that. So you got it. So so at this point, we have the cabling now into the base. Normally, this would already be installed either you know on your ceiling or your wall. So at this point now, we can do is you know take the the base. We'll put it on. At that point now, it is it's on there. If you flip her around now at this point, we're again looking at those arrows. Once those arrows are lined up, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the camera module now on top. At this point, we're just going to now screw these four captive screws down, and now you have a sealed IP66 IK10 camera ready now at this point to be commissioned. So, so the neat thing is these screws that you see on mm -hmm. the top, they're, they're captive, right? Yep. So one thing, I hate you're up on the ladder, <laughs> and I do occasionally yeah. get up on the ladder <laughs> um, when people are talking about this sort of yep. stuff. But we get up on the ladder, you don't have to worry about these screws falling sure. out. Those screws actually go all the way through the enclosure and screw all the way into ah, the base plate. So gotcha. that again helps with that true IK10 rating. Yep. So you bolt this plate to the wall okay. and then you would put those through bolts all the way down and they capture or collect gotcha. onto that base plate which makes it very resilient okay. when it comes to that abuse type thing. So at this point now we have our either our surface mounted or wall surface mounted Don't forget our adapter. conduit adapter that would basically Correct. go into the side Yep. In this small little removable door there. Fits right in, plugs right in, so you can bring your conduit Perfect. straight into the to the base. So those are the normal accessories that come in the box. But what are some of the other accessories that we have? And I know we have some of them here, Steve. You know, we, we have w this guy here, which is a, a weather resistant, you know, capped, is something now to protect the upper dome. So again, from ice, from rain, from sun, anything of that nature. Kind of like a visor. Exactly, yep. So we have a visor, weather resistant. We have wall mounts, a couple different flavored wall mounts at this point. We have pendant mounts. So the plates would go on top of the camera. Yep. And then the mount would go exactly. into that like that. Correct. We have a, a shroud. So this is what? That's a paintable, you know, shroud at this point. Comes so it's black. Yep. This simply covers it over if you had yep. some aesthetic reason that you'd want to paint gotcha. it a specific color to match the brick or okay. match the paint on the side of the building Perfect. or whatever. So it comes white standard. You have a paintable, which is black, or you can paint it any color at this point now to sit there and, and get it to match whatever you need. And then there's also a sun shroud. So the sun shroud works sort of like this. You basically take that, uh, hand me the wall mount over there. Yep. This would match up to this. It would screw onto here. And then that would give us the ability, I'm not gonna do it all the <laughs> way, but some of the way. That would give us the ability to put that up inside of there and, and give that a, uh, the protection from the yep. sun, rain, gotcha. whatever you'd want it to go from there, snow, yep. ice, whatever. So a couple mounting options we have here, but if you also go to the Bosch webpage, there is a great assistant tool there. In fact, we have it up behind us. When you get a chance, take a look at it. It goes through all of the universal mounts for any of our cameras, but specifically, of course, for the 8000i. Um, basically, you click on what mount option you want. It'll give you a close-up picture, but also it'll give you the parts and pieces. But when in doubt, what do you do, Steve, if you can't find any of this? You know what you do. <laughs> you call the office, you talk exactly. to Rick or Katie or yep. Gina, you get one of us to come out, we can show you the, the equipment. Um, that's fast and easy. If you would like to get a demo of the camera, don't forget Bosch yep. has the Try It Before You Buy yep. program. You're welcome to, yes. to place an order that says demo and we'll ship you a camera out. You can test it, and yep. actually install it and test it at your facility with your specific application for up to 60 days, as long as you return it within that 60 days, uh, we'll issue you credit for that. But Perfect. in the meantime, don't forget about our IP address, or our web address, web address and phone, phone number for the office yep. to give us a call for the, for the demo. Call us, email us, text us, any way possible, please get in touch with us, we'll help you. Thank you very much. Thanks.